What's going on legends? Welcome back. Okay, so we've made it kind of far. We're learning a lot, but in this video, we want to talk about something that's almost equally as important as our last video, and it's uh, heading tags. And for those who didn't know, let's, let's look at our hard code right now. So say we just had like maybe some paragraph text. This is our paragraph text. I mean, this is kind of SEO friendly. Let's use the P tags. It's pretty much the same thing, but you might have some CSS to go with those P tags. So this is your paragraph text. I mean, this is just what a, a what do you call it when it's not a sentence fragment? I don't know, but this is kind of SEO friendly. I mean, your the, the web crawlers are going to search all of your website, but this isn't going to show up as fast as something like this would h1 tag so if you were typing an article or something you want to type an article about search engine optimization this is a heading tag these h1 tags right here and this is really this is really really seo friendly big time seo friendly so if we look at this and i'll even give it an h3 tag H1 tags go up to H6, but H1 is the biggest, so they decrease in size. So H1 is the biggest. I'll show you right now. H3 will say by CH, H3, just like that. We'll save it. Let's reload it in our Village Park page. Okay, so H1 tag is clearly the biggest, and then this is an H3. So you can you can imagine how small an H6 is. It's about it's probably just a little bit bigger than this paragraph text. So what I'm trying to say is this is our paragraph text, this is our H3, and this is our H1. And H1 and heading tags and even H3 tags are way more SEO friendly than just paragraph text. So it's better, like if you wanted to write like an article about anything and then have by anything, by my name, CH, and you had it all in paragraph text, you're shooting yourself in the foot because it's not as SEO friendly as it would be if this was an H3 and this is an H1. So utilize H1 tags on each page or on multiple pages. So make sure that you have the correct content, kind of like a title, kind of like a title. Obviously, I mean, I wouldn't really have this word for word as an H1 tag. I mean, it would work, it'd be SEO friendly, but as an audience member, you'd be like, whoa, that's a big title for an article and it doesn't really, and I already saw it up here too. So utilize your H1 tags and just know that they are a lot more SEO friendly than just basic paragraph text.